and welcome back to Lake Christian. We're going through the Bible today, the drive through Bible, and basically I'm just reading the Bible uh, and hopefully inspiring people to do the same. You know, it's not about me reading the Bible, it's about reading the Bible. If more people got into the Bible, and actually try to live the life and do what it says, I think we'd be a lot better off. And uh, that's what I'm hoping to be a part of. Matthew chapter 10, the 12 disciples. And he called to him his 12 disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal every disease and every affliction. For the names of the twelve apostles are these. First, Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector, James, the son of Phileas, uh, and... Theodius, Simon the Zealot, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. Jesus sends out the twelve apostles in Matthew 10, verse 5. These twelve Jesus sent out instructing them, Go nowhere among the Gentiles, and enter no town of the Sumerians, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and proclaim as you are going, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse lepers, cast out demons. You received without paying, give without paying. Acquire no gold or silver or copper for your belts, no bag for your journey, or two tunics or sandals or staff, for the laborer deserves his food, and whatever town or village you enter, Find out who is worthy in it and they there and stay there until you depart. As you enter the house, greet it. And if the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if the house is not worthy, let your peace return to you. And if anyone will not receive you or Listen to your words. Shake off the dust of your feet when you leave the house or town. Truly, I say to you, it will be more bearable on the day of judgment for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah than for that town. Matthew ten sixteen. Behold, I am sending you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. So, be wise as serpents, and innocent as doves. Beware of men, they will... <clears throat> Beware of men, for they will deliver you over to courts and flog you in their synagogues. And you will be dragged before governors and kings for my sake, to bear witness before them, the Gentiles." When they deliver you over, do not be anxious. How are you able to speak or what are you able to say? For what you are to say will be given to you in that hour. For it is not for you to speak, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. Brother, I will deliver brother over or brother will deliver brother over to death. And the father, his child, and children will rise against parents and have them put to death. And you will be hated by all for my name's sake. But the one 
who endures to the end will be saved. When they persecuted you in one town, flee to another. For truly, I say to you, you will not have gone through all of the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. A disciple is not above his teacher, nor a servant above his master. It is enough for the disciple to be like his teacher, and the servant to be like his master. If they have called the master, of course, or the master of the house, Beelzebul, how much more will they malign those of his household? Matthew 10.26 So have no fear of them, for nothing is covered that will not be revealed, or hidden that will not be known. What I tell you in the dark, say in the light. And what you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. And do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? And not one of them will fall to the ground? Apart from your father, but even... The hairs of your head all are numbered. Fear not, therefore you are more value you are of more value than any sparrows. So everyone who acknowledges me before men, I will acknowledge before my Father who is in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, I will also deny before my Father who is in heaven. Matthew ten thirty four. Do not think that I have come to bring peace to the earth. I have not come to bring peace, but a sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, and a daughter against her mother, and daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and a person's enemies will be of his own household. Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me, and whoever does not take his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Got to flip the page here. Uh, sorry. All right. <clears throat> whosoever finds his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Matthew 10, 40. Whoever receives you receives me, and whoever receives me receives him who sent me. The one who receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And the one who receives a righteous person, he is a righteous person, will receive a righteous person's reward. And whoever gives one of these little ones even a cup of cold water because he is a disciple, truly I say to you, I will by no means lose his reward. Now that's a meaty section of scripture. Some people de debate some of the meanings and it's you know even hard to understand some of the, the words used. Um, so I'm not going to comment too much about this because I think you know you got to read everything in context and you know in Matthew 9 at the end of Matthew 9, uh, Jesus talked about the harvest is plentiful, but we need laborers. And that kind of dovetails with that. 
And, um, anyways. So, in the next video, we'll do uh, chapter 11 of Matthew. And, um, you know, if I can kind of get the, the pace going and whatnot, I'd like to read multiple chapters. But I want to keep the video short, so... I just want to encourage you to not only listen to me read the Bible. In fact, if you don't have time in the do not listen to me read the Bible. Go read it for yourself. You know, there are probably plenty of other people who do a lot better job with, you know, professionally recorded audio Bibles. And there's even ones with the words. You can search on YouTube, audio Bible, hear the Bible, whatever. And there will be options that come up. I encourage you to do that. But more so, you know, it's not about head knowledge, it's about heart knowledge, and it's about living your life in a Christ-like fashion. And one of the things on Lake Christian, this YouTube channel, I hope to delve much more into that and get people to change their hearts and minds. And I am not so much worried about prophecy or strict interpretation of every aspect of the Bible. I'm about trying to understand the basis of the Bible and not just being like say head smart and being in your little small groups, but reaching out to the rest of the world and giving people a reason to become believers. Um, again, I'm no prophet. I don't know if any of my ideas are right or truly of God. I would like to thank God has led me in a lot of things, but you know what? The best source of anything is not to listen to teachers. I guess if you could call me a teacher, maybe to some degree. Any teacher that's on the radio, TV, internet, does some kind of ministry, has some kind of gatherings, does some kind of good works or whatever. Maybe they're great people, but it's not about that. It's about the Bible and reading and understanding the Bible should come first and then the next thing is you should try and live in an in, in according way so i encourage you in all those things until another time be always jovial have fries with that first read in depth every scripture have a good day we'll catch you on the 